Well, welcome on back, everyone. Joining us now is Kat from the SBCA of East Texas, and today she brought with her a little friend. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good, good. Now, tell us a little bit about this one. This is Suzuki. Hi. She is a 10 week old little uh, tabby cat that was found with her two siblings on the side of the road mm. uh, without their mom. Uh -huh. um, and they were bottle fed by a good Samaritan until we could take them in and we took them in and we've had them now and they're all spayed and neutered and vaccinated and ready to go. Uh -huh. And she is looking for <laughs> a foster home and or an adopter. <laughs> okay. Well, tell us a little bit about her. What should we know? Uh, what kind of family will be best for Suzuki? You know what? I think uh, <laughs> any, any kind of family would be great for her, but I think she would really like some little kids to play with. She, uh, uh -huh. she is just go, go, go. She <laughs> loves to go. <laughs> she just She's wants to play. She's, She's very curious. She wants to go curious. explore the studio right now, you guys. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> No, she's, that. she's very curious. She likes to roam and run and play, and uh, she's just a usual, you know, kitten. Very high energy. Your perfect house cat. Perfect house cat, yeah, definitely. She likes to snuggle, too. Um, I had her in my office with me this morning, <laughs> and she was snuggling on my shoulder, and that's why she's so hyper now. Yeah. <laughs> You're very excited, Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so she's um, she's staying at her clinic right now while yeah. we try to find her a foster home mm -hmm. or, or an adopter. Um, I think her other two siblings went out to foster last week. Oh, good. So uh, hopefully we can find a place for her soon. Uh, we're really low on fosters right now. Really? So, yeah, um, we just have so many, so many. You know, all the rescues are in the same same predicament right now. There's mm -hmm. so many out there that need help, and we are all just so full. That uh, you know, I, I I urge people if you have a uh, place in your heart, you know, mm -hmm. for one of these puppies or kittens or, or older dogs we have, uh, we provide everything: the yeah. love, the vetting, the food. You know, all, all you do is just give them a, a soft place to land, and you know, give them some loving, and mm. um, <laughs> so they can find their forever homes. Now, for people who are thinking to adopt an animal like Suzuki and who have a place in their heart, but they're just a little bit on the fence, they're not sure if this is something that you could handle, that they could handle. How would you put their minds at ease? Um, you know. No, we do an, a, a foster to adopt. Oh. Uh, we do allow that. We let them take them <laughs> home for a little while. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a test run. Yeah. You know, they take them home and foster them for a little while, and I can guarantee you, you'll fall in love with Suzuki and an adopt her <laughs> within a week. But you know, you can go home and, and foster, and then if you fall in love, you can adopt her. I am falling in love with her right now, you guys. I may take her before you. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, so that, that's some great advice for them and a great opportunity to kind of get their feet wet with a huge responsibility like this. What should people know before they adopt? Um, you know, it's, it's a lifetime commitment. You yeah. know, you can't. We unfortunately have a lot of people that adopt and that don't realize what kind of, you know, situation they're getting into. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, eating, a, a living, breathing thing that needs to be fed and needs yeah. to go to the doctor and, you know, needs toys and, and safe place, you know, to be. And so then they get them and they, they say, I can't handle it. And then they're, they're returning them or, you know, putting them out. And that's just... Um, I would I would rather you not yeah. than than to do that because yeah. it's harder on the animal. But you know you just have to understand that it's a lifetime commitment and mm -hmm. and animals can't really take care of themselves. <laughs> you know they they need us to do it for them. Yeah. You know so you have to you have to be able to be there and be present for this animal. Yeah. Well, this one you guys has a lot of love to give. As you can see, <laughs> she's just ready to cuddle with you. Mm -hmm. So if you're you know looking to adopt, please visit our website or the SBCA of East Texas. They'd love to visit with you. Definitely. Well, Kat, thank you very much for thank coming you. on the show and for bringing your cat Suzuki with you. All right, thanks. All right, you guys.